Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video here, I want to give you some information about the difference between the top shell, that cover there, between a high cut mower and a low cut mower, because there's a lot of wrong information out there uh, in the social media groups and on the internet, and there's reasons why it's wrong, and um, we just want to clarify everything here and just kind of ed educate everybody a little bit more on this so you know what you're looking for and why you're looking for it. Um, what we have here is a, a 450X on the left and a 450XH on the right. You can see here that that center part there, it's gray. It's, it's the one you can interchange with the orange cover or the white cover. Same part used between a high cut and a low cut. Your headlights, the same between a high cut and a low cut. The center console part there. The piece in the front where it says Husqvarna and then it says Automower and 430X, or I'm sorry, 450X or 450XH, interchangeable. The top hatch, interchangeable between the two of them. The stop button. The stop button is a little bit different on the high cut because it just has the slim orange stop at the back, but it's the same physical size as the all orange one on the low cut mower. Now, this would be the same way if it was a 430X and a 430XH because they use. The, the high cut 430X, uh, 430XH, and 450XH, they use the same components here where the 450X and the 430X, the low cut models, they use the same components. So if you're wondering about that, yep, low cut, high cut, that's all you need to worry about. Not 430X, not 450X, none of that stuff. Um, just high cut, low cut. So that physical shell that covers the chassis, they call it a body, they call it a shell, some people just call it a cover. That is the main part that's different, and because it's different, your rear bumper is also different. And we'll get into the rear bumper here in a little bit, but first, that shell part. The way to tell the difference between the two of them is, obviously here when you look at the top, the area that covers the, the rear drive wheels is a little bit longer, you know, a little bit bigger on the XH compared to the X model. Now, the other thing is at the front, if you look at the bumpers, this is the dead giveaway, because on the front bumper, the XH model has these squares molded into the front bumper, where on the low-cut model, it's just flush. It's completely smooth. So that's the big difference right there. Now, your, your top cover, your shell here for the XH model, is also going to be a bit taller and a bit wider. When you go to the back bumper, the back bumper is also taller. It's, it's a bigger back bumper, as you can see here. Again, XH on the right. X on the left, the X has the slimmer, smaller rear bumper. So what's the reason why they have a different top shell for the high cuts than they used on the low cut models? Pretty simple. Um, number one reason is safety. Number two is just balance and stability. That top shell on the XH mower, it's a little bit wider and a little bit taller because they want it to be more stable. You got a mower that's sitting up an inch higher now. When this goes on some of those hills and, and curves, they want the mower to be stable and not roll over as easy. That's why it's a little bit bigger uh, in physical size than the one on the low cut. But the other thing, as I said, was safety. They have to have that bumper come down to a nice safe level in the front so that the mower can't run over something like a pet or a, a child's foot or even an adult's foot or another object that it would run over and could damage and cause some serious injury to. You know, they want to have that bumper so it'll bump into whatever the object is, feel that it's lifted, or that there's a collision, and turn around and go the opposite way. That's very important. Remember that. You go to the back bumper, they put the bigger bumper on the high-cut mowers, like I said. Uh, that bumper actually comes down a little bit lower than the ones on the low-cut mowers. But because you've got a bigger, wider shell, you needed a completely different bumper to be able to fasten to this mower and give you the protection to your drive wheels and all that stuff and, and um, facilitate that collision sensor, uh, that, that collision error to tell it to turn around and go a different way. These are the important things you want to look at when you're ordering a new top cover. You're replacing the top cover on your mower, whether you bought a used one or a new one, or you're trying to do the do-it-yourself high-cut conversion kit. This is where I've seen a lot of people um, do things that they shouldn't be doing. And I just mentioned about that bumper height. So it's no secret 
that if you go to convert a low cut mower to a high cut mower, the most expensive part by far is this top shell. Because the high cuts, as of right now, they are still only used here in North America. So there's not as many of these parts made. It's a supply and demand issue. So this top cover, this shell on this high cut mower is about double the cost of one for a low cut. Um, as of the time of this video, right now, that top shell, the MSRP on that is, I think, a little over $500. So when people go to make their, their low cut mower into a high cut, they think, well, I don't need that. I've already got the existing shell that's on there. I can skip that, save myself a bunch of money. I just converted my mower to a high cut, and it didn't really cost me all that much. It's going to cost you eventually if you do it that way. And how it's going to cost you is it's going to run over a lot of stuff that it shouldn't. You can see right here, this is the bumper height on the low-cut mower with the low-cut top on it. This is the bumper height here of the high-cut mower with the high-cut top, the high-cut top shell on there. If you switch these around and you put the high-cut top cover, on a low cut because you ordered one, you know, by accident, uh, or you ordered the wrong lower chassis for your high cut, and now your mower is going to sit down lower than it should. This is where you're going to be at, and you say, "Well, you know, that's not terrible. It's about two inches. That thing's going to be dragging on the ground. It's going to be dragging in the roots of the grass, and you're going to have a lot of problems. It's just not going to want to go. The back bumper is going to be dragging. The front bumper is going to be dragging." It's going to be just constantly giving collision errors and just not mow anything. Now, the other end of that spectrum is, like I said, the people who decide I'm going to make my mower into a high cut mower and skimp out on buying the right pieces that I would need to do this. And I'm going to reuse that existing top shell. Now you just raised your bumper height up to a very unsafe level because you can see here, this is a, this is a pretty big distance between the ground and the bottom of that bumper there's going to be more room for stuff to get in under there and get hit by the cutting blades than should be. So, like I said, you might think you're saving some money, but as soon as that thing hits a couple objects that it shouldn't be hitting, yeah, better get out your checkbook because it's going to start costing you real quick. Uh, same with the back bumper. The back bumper is going to be up much higher, so the ability for it to back over something is there. You know, you've got a, a pet that's out there in the yard that's used to this mower running around and normally it would come up to it and might nudge it or something and turn around and go a different way because you got the lazy dog or whatever like we do. It's not going to do that. It could go up to them. It could run up into them, get some of their fur caught in it, run over their tail, uh, you know, a paw, something like that. That's the last thing you want. These are designed to work a certain way to be as safe as possible. You know, they go through all these standards and everything. so. This is why I'm, I'm giving you this information here, because this is important and this is something you really need to pay attention to. So if you're going to convert your low cut mower into a high cut mower, you need to change that top shell and put a high cut top shell on there for the safety and secondary, a distant secondary, the balance. So keep that in mind. Um, again, I, I mentioned there about the low cuts, uh, you know, people ordering uh, a lower chassis and getting the wrong one, you can end up with the same situation if you order a new lower chassis for your low cut mower and you ordered a high cut lower chassis instead of the the, the right low cut um, lower chassis. And again, you're going to be in that, that position there where your mower is going to end up running over stuff that it shouldn't be running over. So you got to pay real close attention to this stuff. You know, if you have an XH or you have an X, you, you should know that. Like you, like I said, check the bumper. That's the easiest way to tell. You've got the squares there on the XH. You've got the uh, the flush flat bumper on the front. Um, you know, there, there's plenty of ways to tell what you've got. So make sure that before you go to order parts, uh, make sure that when you go to replace the parts, if you ordered something and it comes in, just kind of examine it, you know, hold it up to the, the part you're replacing to make sure it's the exact same thing. Everything's the right height before you go putting this mower together and turning it loose and realizing that, oh, the bumper's way too high and it just ran over something it shouldn't have, or the bumper's dragging on the ground and the mower won't move now. So hopefully you guys learned something here and now you understand why 
that that top shell, that top cover is so crucial on your automower and making sure you got the right one. Uh, as always, if you're looking for parts for your automower, place to go, our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. If you're looking for a top shell, we've got them. If you don't see it on our website, as always, send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, or if you just check out the website there, uh, there's plenty of places on there where you can contact us through the website. We have this stuff in stock. We have the high cut conversion kits. Usually we have them in stock too. So if you want to really convert yours, it's going to be expensive to do, but you're going to be able to do it the right way. Be sure while you're on our website to subscribe to our website, check out our Instagram page, follow us on there, like us on Facebook, and of course, subscribe to this channel. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.